Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 10 learners! Sa video na ito ay igaguide ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 4, weeks 3 to 4 ng inyong mga module. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung mga previous learning task, i-click nyo na lang sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Mga anak, hindi ko sasabihin lahat ng sagot ha. Igaguide ko lang kayo at i-analyze ninyong mabuti at pakinggan ninyong mabuti upang sa ganon ay subukan ninyong isolve talaga yung nasa module ninyo. Si mas magandang matuto kapag kayo mismo yung nagsusolve. Okay? So, dito tayo sa statement na to. Two angles intercepting the same arc are congruent. When we say congruent, the same sila ng measurement. Pag yung two angles daw, intercepting the same arc, congruent ba siya? Okay, for example, meron tayong isang inscribe angle dito at isang inscribe angle dito. Halimbawa, ito ay 46 degrees. Di ba yung inscribe angle niya kalahati niya? So, 23. At itong angle na to, intercepting arc niya rin yung Nandito, ibig sabihin, 23 degrees din ito. Pareho sila, ibig sabihin, congruent sila. Pero hindi naman niya sinabing inscribe angle lang yon. Pwede rin naman ganito, ba? Yung central angle, intercepted arc pa rin niya naman ito. Tapos, yung inscribe angle, intercepted arc niya ito. Ibig sabihin, ba ang sabi natin kapag central angle equal siya dito. Pero yung inscribe angle ay kalahati lang siya. So, halimbawa, ito ay 60 at 60 ito, tapos yung inscribe angle ay kalahati lang ng intercepted arc, so this is 30 degrees. E pag sinasabi natin congruent, the same measurement. May kulang kasi dito, pag sinabi sana niyang two inscribe angles, ibig sabihin ito lang yon Pero ang sabi niya kasi two angles, hindi niya sinabi or hindi niya describe yung specific na angle na yon so, pwedeng ito yung meaning niya or pwede rin ito. Okay? So, the same ito pero dito hindi. I-comment nyo nga sa baba kung ano yung sagot ninyo para malaman nila. Next, dito naman sa number 2. An inscribed square in a circle separates the circle into four equal arcs. So, meron daw tayong inscribed square dito sa circle. So, equal daw itong arc na ito, itong arc na ito, Dito at ito. So, meron daw tayong 4 equal arcs. Pag tinitingnan natin, tama naman siya, ba? Pero, paano natin yan ma prove na equal nga sila? Wala naman tayong basihan ng measurement. Okay, so for example, lagyan natin yan ng diagonal. ba ang square, pag merong diagonal, perpendicular. Meaning to say, 90 degrees ito, 90 degrees din ito, 90 degrees ito. At 90 degrees din ito. So, meron na tayong apat na central angle na 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Ano bang definition ng central angle sa intercepted arc? Di ba equal sila? So, kapag 90 degrees ito, 90 din ito, 90 degrees din ito, 90 degrees din ito, at 90 degrees. So, meron na tayong four equal arcs. Parehong 90 degrees lahat. Obviously, ito ay... O, oh, i-comment nyo nga sa baba. Dito naman sa number 3, the measure of a central angle is twice the measure of an inscribed angle intercepting the same arc. Inscribed angle intercepting the same arc. Intercepting the same arc. So, ito yung intercepted arc. Tapos, yung central angle daw ay twice the measure of the inscribed angle. So, pag 30 ito, ibig sabihin 60 ito. So, that is true. Kasi, yung measurement kasi ng central angle is 2 times ng inscribed angle. So, this is true. 
Then, dito naman, an arc has only one central angle intersecting it but several intercepting inscribed angles. So, totoo ba to? For example, ito yung intercepted arc natin at meron tayong halimbawa central angle dito. So, meron lang siyang iisang central angle. Tama yung statement na to. One central angle. But several intercepting inscribed angles. So, meron ding inscribed angles na several dito. Meaning to say, tama rin yan. Okay? Dito naman, the vertex of an inscribed angle is the center of the circle. Ano ba yung definition ng inscribed angle? It is an angle that has its vertex on the circle and its sides are chords of the circle. So, yung vertex niya ba ay nasa center? Nasa center ba yung vertex niya? Pag sinabi natin vertex, yung nandito. Nasa center ba ito? Wala naman, di ba? Ito yung center natin. Ibig sabihin, this is not true. Next, when two chords intersect, they intersect at the center of the circle. So, pag daw ba yung dalawang chords ay nag-intersect, nag-intersect pa sila sa center of the circle? Ito yung center natin. Nag-intersect ba sila dito sa center? Hindi. Halimbawa, another example ito, dalawang chords. Halimbawa, nandito yung center. Nag-intersect ba sila sa center? Hindi rin. Halimbawa, mayroon din tayong dalawang chords that passes through the center of the circle na yung tinatawag na diameter. So, meron tayong isang chord dito, isang chord. Nag-intersect sila at the center of the circle. O, i-compare nyo nga itong tatlong ito kung nandun ba lahat sa center. So, ito lang ang meron sa center ng circle. Which means, this is a false statement. Next, when two diameters intersect, they intersect at the center of the circle. Anong definition ng diameter? Any straight line segment that passes through the center. Dadaan at dadaan yan sa center ng circle. So, pag daw ba yung dalawang diameters intersect, they intersect at the center of the circle? Oo. Kasi nga, lahat ng diameter ay dumadaan palagi sa center ng circle. Meaning, this is true. Okay? Another one. When two chords intersect at a point on the circle, an inscribed angle is formed. Halimbawa, meron tayong dalawang chord daw, intersecting, nag-intersect siya sa point. So, nandito yung intersection nila. So, may na-form ba ng inscribed angle? Ano ba yung inscribed angle? Yung vertex niya nasa circle or nasa circumference ng circle. So, ito ay dalawang chord, nandito yung vertex niya, at ito ay tinatawag na inscribed angle, meaning to say it is true. Okay? Another one, when two chords intersect, the point of intersection is in the interior of the circle. Tama ba ito? Two chords intersect, the point of intersection is in the interior of the circle. Halimbawa, meron tayong ganitong dalawang chord. Nag-intersect sila sa loob ng circle. So, tama itong circle na ito. Tapos, balikan natin itong statement natin kanina. Dalawang chords din ito na nag-intersect. Nandito naman yung intersection nila. Nasa loob ba ng circle yung intersection nila? Hindi, di ba? Yung intersection nila is at a point on the circle. Ito. Meaning to say, this is false. Kasi pwede namang nasa loob, pwede rin nasa sa mismong circle. Naintindihan ba? Then, lastly, when two tangents intersect at the exterior point of the circle, the intercepted arcs complete a circle. So, pag daw yung dalawang tangent nag-intersect sa labas, halimbawa ito, dalawang tangent, The intercepted arcs complete a circle. So, yung intercepted arc niya daw ba ay kompletong circle? Ito yung intercepted arc ng tangent na yan. So, hindi siya complete, di ba? Halimbawa, ito. Ito lang yung intercepted arc niya. 
Meaning, hindi niya na-intercept yung isang buong circle. So, this is false. Okay? Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!